So know, let's let's I talk like. about it. So you are are you an agent or a salesperson in the process? I'm I'm an agent. Yes. You're an agent. Yes. And you're doing sales and you're doing like uh, sales rentals and as well? rentals as well. Yes. And what's what has been mostly on the sales side? What's been most of your client base? Would you say like if you had to draw a profile for mm-hmm. your last ten clients? Um. I had both investors and end users as well. Mm. So of course I would qualify my clients first, what they're looking for. Um, but as I said, most of the... In- if you do like a, from a demographic point of view, where are they coming from mostly? Because I'm just trying to understand the market, okay. right? Um, I would say most of Indians, mm-hmm. Pakistan, right. locals as well. Um, yeah. And not locals, sorry, more, I'm more Saudis, mm. more Saudis and... Russian, Ukrainian, yeah, European as well. What are these guys like? Um, big families or guys who just made their money, their first money, or super billionaires who just want to have five units in Dubai? Like, what kind of people? I have it very fifty-fifty. I have older mm. uh, people with families already that they are yes. investing and making it their business. I had also twenty years old crypto guys that mm. literally just want to invest their first uh, into their first property. Yeah. So it's a big mixture, and that's what I like about Dubai. You can literally see eighteen years old guys investing in properties, yes. and you can see also seventy years old. Well, who is the youngest? <laughs> who is the youngest person you ever you ever saw to? Uh, 21, uh, 21, yes. 21. Yes. Or from from where? Uh, he was from uh, France. Fra- how, how, how did he make his money? Uh, crypto. Crypto. <laughs> <laughs> and what kind of, what kind of uh, real estate was he buying? Uh, he, uh, apartment, apartment in downtown, yes. Okay, nice. Like a million bucks? Um, it was, um, yes, actually, yes. <laughs> was was he like the the easiest sale you ever made or it was also it was difficult it was a little bit of headache to be honest okay. yeah there was a little bit struggles but um, it, it, at the what, end what, what was it. the problem um <laughs> let's not talk about <laughs> it. you can talk about it <laughs> it's okay in case they see it <laughs> no, no no they're not gonna see this trust me this is like um it's going on the dark web this podcast is only on the dark web <laughs> um there were like few struggles, um, there was not a full clarity from also my side, the mm. company side and so on. So we had a little bit of struggle. So you, you couldn't understand where the money is coming from. And I mean, I can, yeah. I can sort of or, or already relate because I'm in crypto myself. Okay, okay. So I, I probably know the problem where you guys, you have your own way of betting and understanding someone's profile. Whereas a crypto guy would just have the money, <laughs> but there's no any other way to prove that yeah. they... Okay. That they where it come coming from? Yes. So, so what do you do in that situation? Because like I, m- most people in crypto, they don't have a lot of banking history, right? No, you know. But then there are companies here in Dubai. They mm. uh, cash it out. I think the crypto, and yeah. they just uh, pay cash, and that's it. They don't. They don't really check. Do you accept crypto? Uh, we as a company, uh, we, we have the exchanges. Yes, yes. Okay. So you can. Right. So hey, listen. If you enjoyed this small piece of a long-form podcast interview that I just did, I recommend that you go to Survival Skills Podcast and watch the entire interviews without any delays or without ads and destruction. The podcast name is Survival Skills Podcast. It's available on iTunes, YouTube, Spotify, and all other platforms. Search it, find it, go there and subscribe and enjoy the entire, entire episode, okay? Have fun. Peace.